Hello Capricorn, we're getting ready to do your love reading. Let's take a look and see what we have. Because I used to travel internationally, I always love to know where one's viewing the video from, what country, what city. Um, and I also like to receive comments about suggestions for other videos, and I do answer comments. It may take a day or two, but I get around to it always. So let's see what we have here. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Cups, a love offer coming in, somebody who may be younger, a, somebody who may be a little bit shy, somebody who's a little bit afraid of approaching you, this little, little fishy in a cup here, so it's very sweet. Very, very sweet energy. Okay, Capricorn, your energy coming into this week is the Two of Cups. Two of Cups, Cancerian energy, soulmate energy of the Minor Arcana, the energy of sharing your cup of love with another. They return the feelings. It is a bride and groom card in some of the most uh, historical meanings of this. It means that there's marriage opportunity, potential, long-term commitment, but you it's a soulmate card. You're feeling very loving towards somebody. We get the energy, oops, wrong deck. Okay, we get the energy of the Eight of Cups. Somebody's left something behind here. The Eight of Cups is leaving a situation you might have left another relationship to come to this relationship for fulfillment the eight of cups also i know this is a very unusual interpretation but because i traveled internationally for so many years and returned home sometimes the eight of cups is actually taking a journey into the unknown let's see we also have the eight of pentacles a card of wanting to get to know you get to know all about you you feel that way about someone else you're willing to learn you're willing to make changes you're willing to again adapt and adjust for a love relationship around you up to and including leaving something behind um we get this oh i love this scorpio king energy is how your person is appearing in the reading they are a person who loves very deeply, very, very richly. They have a lot to bring to the table. They're giving you a lot of leeway here. They're very accepting of whatever your journey is. You're in this ship, you're coming towards them, but they understand that they don't want to be an obstacle to the situation. But when we get Scorpio energy, we also get an ending, right? Life and death, rebirth. Let's see what else they have. Oh, Knight of Swords energy. They want to tear, tell you something very specific. They want to make something very clear to you. They want to clear the air. They don't want there to be any confusion around what's going on between the two of you. It is Gemini energy, so it's a communication of some sort. This person feels it's very urgent to discuss a matter with you. Ah, the Seven of Swords. That is a sneaky peek card. Your person's in the energy of wanting their needs met, and the Seven of Swords is oftentimes a clandestine affair, uh, something that's secretive, so you might not be together. I feel like there's a lot of soulmate energy, there's a lot of love, but your person feels as though they have to do something that is less than straightforward in this relationship to have you. Let's take a look and see what Spirit has, is saying about the connection between the two of you. Then, of course, we're going to look at the outcome and we're going to clarify everything. So, Spirit, tell us something about this relationship. What are the messages here from Spirit about the energy that we see in front of us? Joy, hummingbird, Spirit. So, the two of you make each other very happy. Let's see. We have the energy of strength. This love is not going anywhere. That strength card is, you know, the strength card in the tarot deck is infinity. You may have loved each other through many lifetimes. Okay, we have the flow. Going with the flow, we have a, a meaningful pathway. So a meandering pathway. It may take time to come together in your relationship might require someone to leave a marriage behind quite literally to work on this relationship again it could be a secret relationship or clandestine relationship or something that you simply haven't told other people but it does speak to the fact that your person feels um, that to have what they want with you there has to be discretion 
All right, so let's look and see what the outcome card is here. We have the Six of Cups, a reunion. Nice, okay. You may not have seen this person for a while. This would even be like, say you were living in the north of the United States and you went south for the, the winter and you had to leave your person quite literally to do that and then you came back, okay. This is a reunion. We have Three of Swords. That's what I thought. It does look like somebody else is in a marriage that has to be left behind. It does look like um, your person sees, they have something to say about this. The chariot card, you are you both love each other. You're coming towards each other. I feel as though this relationship has been a long-term friendship. I feel as though this has been an ongoing situation for most of you for a long time. Um, you're kind of accustomed to this, but we see an energy, though, of breaking free. The Eight of Cups and the Chariot card moving into the future means with the meandering pathway that the two of you have probably had a secret relationship that has been going on for a very long time, sort of out in the open and yet, you know, everybody's sort of ignoring that it's more than you allow it to appear. So let's see what we have here for the energy of the Page of Cups. Page of Cups energy, the world card. So something will be closed out, successfully going to the next level, the next chapter of your life. Ah, the Daddy card, Father of Pentacles, somebody very reliable. Capricorn, that is Taurus energy. We get Cancer, we get Pisces, we get Virgo, we get Scorpio, Gemini, uh, Seven of Swords is Aquarius, Six of Cups is Scorpio, Three of Swords is Libra, and this is Cancerian Energy. So there's a really strong nurturing vibe between the two of you. But we have the Father of Pentacles. There may be an age difference. This tells me also that the two of you have its Taurus energy, very steadfast love, a very strong desire to nurture each other and go to the next level. You both have clarity. There's a plan. There is a plan in place, and I don't think anyone else sees it coming. I feel as though the Seven of Swords is related to this, this uh, ace, ace of Swords, which means that you haven't done it yet, because that would be self-imposed restriction. So right now you're waiting. It looks like you're probably waiting for the right time. We have the moon card, sure, it's undercover right now. So this relationship does look like it is a secretive relationship, Pisces energy, that which you cannot see, 12th house, that which is hidden in the astrology wheel. The two of cups, high priestess, okay, Cancerian energy doubled here. So what I'm getting, Capricorn, is that you probably hold, if you are married but in love with somebody else, which is possible, vice versa, it can be any combination of energies here. Take this storyline as it fits with you like a buffet table. Take what's yours, leave the rest. We see that the person that you might be married to, I, it, it's true of both people. It looks like you might be married to one person with whom you're going to leave. Um, but this, the people or the person that you're in love with here is very, you respect them. This is a person who's very intuitive. intuitive. You're using your intuition you also feel, again, it's very much quiet, secretive. So it looks like you love one person, but you're possibly with another person. And you're being very secretive, but there's a lot of success. Everybody here is accomplished in this third-party situation. Everybody looks educated, very accomplished, very successful. We see, though, that you are having this very sort of Judge Judy, I need to make a decision, I need to be clear-cut. It's Libra energy. It speaks to the fact that you want to boss up and have the life that you want, that you are willing to do the work, that you're willing to take the leadership role. The Eight of Cups, what's it about? To have wandered at a crossroads. To have this love that you want, you're going to have to make a decision to leave somebody behind. Daughter of Pentacles. This is a person that you really like. It's a person you've known probably for a lifetime. When we get that Six of Cups energy, you may have known this person since they were quite young or you were quite young or both of you. The Eight of Coins is clarified by the Eight of Coins. This is a person that you've had a very productive life with. This is a person with whom you have shared a lot of energy. 
there is a sacrifice so that needs to be made an apology will be made I'm getting that you're gonna move forward you're t you're waiting for the time to be right you're looking th at things from a different perspective the daughter of cups though is a page of cups you really want to offer a cup of love for a new beginning with somebody what else do we have ten of wands you're, you want to give up a burden that you've been carrying you've you've had a secret relationship with somebody who you adore you love both people but one is a love that is more romantic the other is a love of basically having lived a good life together you know you don't want to throw you don't really want to hurt anybody I see you being willing to take your time your person Capricorn the tower reversed so they do not see, they understand that what's going to happen in your life is that there's going to be a big change, but it does not rock the foundation of your relationship. The tower reversed means that the shock and awe is not going to be your person's shock and awe. That shock and awe is going to come to the person that you're going to leave behind. What else do we have? Nine of Wands. Your person has fire in their belly, Sagittarius energy. They want this adventure with you, the Four of Swords. This has taken a long time. It looks like they're healing old wounds. They're resting right now. The Knight of Swords, your person wants to tell you that, that they're searching for answers. Your person loves you very much. They're willing to give you sort of a period of time in which they know they'll be alone for you to figure out for you. they're waiting for you is in essence what i see they're going to tell you that they're willing to wait for you but you know they want to be with you they're going to miss you while you go through a transitional period so that the two of you can have a new beginning the seven of swords the three of swords your person is a third party situation in what appears to be a marital relationship your person has been heartbroken by this but look at here we have the queen of wands usually the other woman so the queen of wands energy says that your person is very fiery very passionate very much in love with you justice card just as i said justice and justice so what i see here is the initiation of paperwork for a divorce this can also be a marriage license but when i get the eight of uh, cups here we get the tower card reversed. It's not your person. It looks as though you've promised this person that you're going to get a divorce. They're waiting for you to do that. They're, it's sort of like pending the paperwork. After that, you'll be able to be together. Uh, out in the open, son of wands. Okay. So your person is very, they're very much wondering if you're being honest with them. I'll tell you that. Capricorn, what I see here is that your person feels as though you've been a player with them that you've had in and out energy, that they've never really had you to themselves. So though you are promising, it appears you are openly promising to divorce the person that you're with and be with them, they're simply not sure that you'll do it. As an outcome, Six of Cups is a reunion. Four of Cups says that nothing's really changed. Things are still in this secretive energy, you know, that which is hidden, your person and you. Okay, so now we have healing, nice. So it does look like the truth is told here. It looks as though the star card, hopes and dreams for, tr uh, for the truth and honesty and healing are manifesting in your love relationship. We have the seven of cups. So the seven of cups is when you're keeping your options open or there's really confusion. That's what I get. Your person is simply uncertain whether you're actually going to do it. So the outcome says you're going to take your time. I feel as though your person's skeptical as to whether you're really being honest. They know you're well-intentioned. They know that you love them. That's not the question. Your person is wondering if you have the stomach or the fire in your belly to do it. The cards say that you do, that you don't want to carry on like this. The Two of Swords, they're going to take a wait-and-see attitude here. The Three of Swords, the Lover's card, Soulmate Energy. Gemini energy at a crossroads needing to make a decision. Your person feels defensive. You feel defensive. You're both in a state of worry. You're trying not to be too anxious. And, you know, you're waiting for the walk away. So the Three of Swords energy for this to come into fruition. Again, you're walking away from status quo. 
and your 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 person is wondering if you'll actually go through with it and you do because that's an outcome card you walk away from somebody else to manifest fest the soulmate uh, energy that's here in the reading your soulmate to be with them the daughter of wands is a page of wands so it does look like you throw caution to the winds you take off into the future as a couple the three of wands the ships are in the harbor you've chosen each other the six of swords you move away and you are healing it looks like the two of you come together this relationship actually man uh, manifests this is a long-standing love relationship in which there's so much joy and the meandering pathway says it was a long circuitous road and path but you have succeeded. Capricorn, congratulations. I hope everything works out for you. Take care. Bye-bye.